Hey guys, it's Justin with CNS Construction. Wanted to take the time today to talk to you some tips and tricks on snow plowing. So, first thing right off the bat I want to say is if you are just now getting a snow plow, thinking, oh, it's easy money and all this, yeah, it is pretty easy money. But I've also been doing it for like 20 years. And I want to say it to start off with I learned on a straight blade, I did not learn on a V blade right off. I would suggest doing the same thing. Get a v, uh, straight blade first, learn the functions, learn the operations, learn how to plow with a straight blade. After you've gotten comfortable with the straight blade, five years down the road, however long it takes you, I mean, if it's, I mean, you're gonna sink six to eight grand in, in buying a new, brand new blade. So depending on what you buy, it, it could it be anywhere from well, you can even spend five thousand up to eight, nine thousand, depending on what kind of blade you buy and all the bells and whistles. So I would say get a straight blade first, learn the functions, and learn how to plow with a straight blade. Once you have gotten comfortable and mastered that, five, ten, five, six years down the road, whatever it is, then I would say move into the V blade. Now, in the other video, I talked about my controller. My controller is set up for my left hand. I have my controller set that way so that I can rest my arm on my side door, on that little arm there. I can comfortably rest my hand in my lap, on my leg, and operate my plow. I don't have to look at my plow controller anymore like I did when I was first learning. I, I know my controller like the back of my hand pretty much so that frees up my right hand to steer and to shift because my gear shift lever in my F-250 Ford is on the right side so now I'm not trying to take my controller from my right hand and trying to shift and have two things in my hand or trying to move my left hand over the steering wheel to shift from reverse to drive or from drive to reverse and make things awkward. Little things like that can save you a few seconds in the middle of the night while you're backing up and everything else. So that's one suggestion. Another tip I would say is pile the person's snow that you are piling or snow plowing in their parking lot, in their drive. Make sure you get it off on, on the grass and you know push it back far enough so that when you're starting off in the season I always take my tires and go just off the pavement starting off and then I can keep kind of pushing it back from there as I build up just a little bit but I like to take my tires off the pavement that gives me enough room at the start of the season that I can keep piling my pile is going to get bigger and you want to try and save space especially if it's a small commercial parking lot or if it's a residential driveway you need to make sure you leave yourself enough room so again put the snow from that person's residential property or that commercial property make sure you put their snow on their property because if you go onto somebody else's property you are still liable if they figure out who put it there you are still liable and in my area here I have seen cops because yes it is illegal stopping plow guys and ticketing them for pushing across the street um, something else that I would like to talk about is um, when you're doing like a gravel drive or a dirt drive go ahead and just drop your blade down but before you go and start plowing bump it up just a little bit get it off the ground enough so that when you're plowing it you're scraping the majority of the snow off but you're leaving just a little bit there and the reason for that is then you're not taking all the stone or being a bulldozer and plowing out their driveway if it's dirt and then having a big expense come spring of putting all that back so pick up your plow just a little bit leave a little dusting of snow on top of it I know some guys like to run skis I don't 
when you're running skis, you still want to kind of do the same thing. You don't want that down. The skis are only there to help with your wearing on your uh, your blade. So pick it up a little bit. You won't tear up the yard. You won't drag a lot of stone off. When you get to the edge of the grass where you can visibly see the grass, pick it up. Don't don't try and tear up their grass. If you, you don't really know where your sprinklers are, you know, pick that blade up, then you can go right over top of it, push your snow off. Yes, sometimes I do hit it. Sometimes I'll pop some good chunks of sod. I just take that chunk. If it's nice and cold, drop that chunk back down in there. Come spring, you're never even going to know that it was hit. And I always get calls back, so I must be doing something right. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to give you a few tips and tricks. If you like this video and want to hear some more tips and tricks, comment below, click the subscribe button. You know, let's get this thing going to where I can get more out there. So hope you guys like this. Again, click the subscribe button and comment below. Thanks, guys.